Having an Individualized Education Program, or IEP, or a 504 plan gives children important discipline protections. Children with IEPs and or 504 plans are protected from school disciplinary measures when certain conditions are met. This video focuses on children with IEPs, but the requirements for children with 504 plans are very similar. On the 11th day of out-of-school suspension in one school year for a student with an IEP, the school must hold a meeting that includes the parent to decide if the behavior that triggered the suspension is related to the child's disability or the school's failure to implement the child's IEP. The meeting is called a Manifestation Determination Review, or MDR. If the behavior is related to the child's disability or the school's failure to implement the child's IEP, the child cannot be suspended and must be returned to their previous placement. They are also entitled to an evidence-based functional behavioral assessment, known as an FBA, and behavioral intervention plan, known as a BIP, if they don't already have one. If the child already has a BIP, the IEP team must review and, if necessary, modify the BIP to address the behavior resulting in suspension. If the MDR is positive and therefore the suspension cannot occur, the child must immediately return to school in the special education placement where they were prior to the suspension. The IEP team can only change the child's placement after a positive MDR if the parent and district agree to the change in placement. This is the only situation where the school cannot override a parent's objections to a placement change. Usually, if the IEP team does not agree on a placement, the district makes a final decision, but that is not true after a positive MDR. We see the situation come up a lot where the school will agree that the MDR is positive but try to change the child's placement to homebound or modified day over a parent's objection because they are concerned about the behaviors that led to suspension. An MDR must be scheduled within 10 days of the suspension. However, because a positive MDR means the child immediately returns to school and the suspensions cannot continue, it is very important that the school district take immediate steps to conduct the MDR rather than waiting until the last day of the out-of-school suspension or after the out-of-school suspension has already been completed so that the procedural safeguard is appropriately honored. Even if a student does not yet have an IEP, if a school has knowledge that a child may have a disability, the child receives the same discipline protections as if an IEP is already in place. The school has knowledge when a parent expressed concern in writing that their child may need special education, a parent requested an evaluation for an IEP in writing, a teacher or other personnel expressed specific concerns about a pattern of behavior by the child to supervisory personnel, or the behavior and performance of the child clearly establishes the need for evaluation for special education services.